Look at that. Pretty girls, ain't it? There's a big boy rooster right there, isn't there? Look at the pretty eggs, y'all. Look at the eggs. How about that? She's in there laying. <laughs> she said, get out of here. Can I just have some privacy? That's all she wants, privacy. Look at them pretty eggs, man. Mmm, mmm. I love chickens. <laughs> Not as much as I love knives, but I love chickens and knives. <coughs> Here, big boy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Today, guys, we're going to be opening up two more packages. One from Port Ritchie, Florida. And the other one from Mr. Lazy Buck himself. This is his third package, all the way from Leesville, South Carolina. I also got another package to open. Uh, I'm going to keep one for myself. I bought these. I'm going to keep one for myself, and we're going to be adding that to the giveaway come April the 15th. Huge giveaway, guys. We're going to have a lot of stuff to give away. Might take all night, but we're going to give it away. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to be repairing anything right now. I might clean up a knife before the um, the auction. It's just the auction is taking up. A lot, a lot of time up right now because uh, one thing I have to take pictures then I have to write a description of it and upload it all to the, the website so I hope y'all uh, understand uh, but I have a lot of packages I got to open guys uh, and I thank y'all so much I really do and uh, but we're going to be opening these things up this one from Port Ritchie Florida is big and heavy so it might be a bunch of knives in there uh, but I'm like a week behind, so uh, y'all forgive me, but it's just been a, a lot of stuff going on. But thank y'all so much. I really cherish it at the, the, the bottom of my heart, but I am going to get to these packages. That's why I'm opening up two today. So I'm going to be opening up two a day all the way up through the auction. Once the auction, I get everything mailed out, then I'll start the repairs again. Anyway, guys, we're fixing to open up these two packages. I surely appreciate y'all tuning in today, and I hope y'all enjoy the video. Well, here are the packages, guys. This one here is from Mr. Lazy Buck himself from Leesville, South Carolina. It's his third package. We're going to open that up first. And this is the package that I bought. Uh, the stuff, I'm going to keep one. I'm going to give one away. It's some good stuff. Wait to see what it is. And this here comes from all the way from Port Ritchie, Florida. We're going to be opening it. We're going to be opening it up last. It is heavy. <laughs> I don't know what's in there. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's open this one real quick. Be opening it up with my uh, custom Spitfire uh, 722. See, it says uh, custom knife shop, and it's got 735 VN steel, and it, I love this knife. I actually gave my other Spitfire away, guys, to a a, a uh, teacher here at school. Uh, he's been here ever since it started. He's uh. He's a great guy. He's fixing to retire, so I gave it to him. He, he's a big supporter of the, the page, and and he's just a great guy. I love him to death. He's fun to be around, too. Just vibrant. Let's see what Mr. Lazy Buck said. Hello, Knife Doctor. Picked this trapper up and thought it might go with your yellow case display with the CV blades. It doesn't fit. Do whatever you see fit to do with it. Give it away, auction, or keep. Thanks for the videos, Lazy Buck. The fun is in the hunt. You're exactly right, Lazy Buck. Certainly appreciate this, man. Uh, we'll definitely take a look at it, man. Whoa, my God, man. That's beautiful, man. I don't know if it'll fit in there or not, man. It's a yellow trapper. Yes. Yes. It will fit. That's so awesome of you, man. Look at look at that, y'all. Ain't this beautiful? Lazy bug. Thank you, buddy. 3254. Let's see. It is. Order number 161. Dude, I'm shaking, man. Thank you so much, buddy. This is so awesome. We're going to clean this one up and put it in the, the display case. Wow. Check it out, y'all. Ain't that awesome? It looks good, too, buddy. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look at that, y'all. It's going to look so good in there. This is awesome, Lazy Buck. Thank you so much, man. We're going to wipe it down with, with Never Dull at, at once we open all the packages and put it in my display case. Thank you so much, man. This is his third package, y'all. Big support of the channel. Thank you, buddy, so much. Man, that's a good surprise this morning. I ain't got my coffee in real good. <laughs> And uh, this is a nice surprise, buddy. Thank you so much. Okay, now this here, guys, is... I ordered this stuff, and uh, y'all know it very well. It is the uh, Mama's Outback Leather Wax. I'm going to keep one for myself, but I ordered one for the giveaway come April the 15th. Again, this comes from Shankle Homestead Leather Works. It's good stuff. I use it all the time. I really do. This is a big package, guys, all the way from Port Richie, Florida. This is uh, comes from uh, McLeland, C. McLeland. Pretty cool. I'm going to open it up out here to Kevin, the knife doctor. Good day, morning or night, Kevin. I am sending you a few knives for you to use for parts or add to your collection. What I would like to is to donate everything to the next Tunnels and Towers auction. I'm a U.S. Air Force veteran. Appreciate your service, sir. And my dad was a U Ooh, raw, U.S. Marine. He served from the end of the World War II until the early 1950s. Thank you for your service. Your videos bring great joy to me and so many others. I have learned so much in a very short time watching you, young man. Sincerely, Charles McLeland. Well, Charles, thank you so much for all this, buddy. I appreciate these kind words. I thank you for your service. I thank you for your dad's service, man. Hoorah. A Marine. Simplify. Simplify to you and your dad. Appreciate it, man, so much. Let's see what this is. I might not be able to get everything in this Tunnels to Towers uh, auction, Mr. Charles, but it will be donated to the next auction. Um for moms if that's all right for, with you um it's going to be in the month of may we're going to be donating to you are a gift foundation uh i'll have more information on that but i've already got so much in there now but i appreciate you sending this and i will get it in the next auction i promise you big old knife yeah that's pretty impact that's pretty, ain't it? Wow. It's like Damascus bolster right there. Impact custom knives. Awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. Whoa. What in the world? There we go. Probably just needs to be oil. Man, that thing's huge, ain't it? Pakistani. That's pretty cool. Never seen one of those before, man. It's pretty awesome. That's pretty. I love that sheath. Knives. That's pretty, right there, isn't it? Pretty awesome. The sheath is pretty too. I like that belt loop. Awesome. That's pretty too. Now I like that right there. Is that a like a it looks like a bear. Sea knives. Yeah, I think that is a bear. That's pretty cool, isn't it? The handles are bone. These things are sharp. It's pretty nice. I like that sheath, too. A lanyard hole back there. Awesome. 
Awesome. Check this one out, yeah. That thing's sharp. Check out the handle. Pretty cool. Awesome. Mm, wow. <laughs> Italian Molino. Molino. Made in China. That's pretty nice now. But I cannot sell these. I can't sell these, buddy. It's going to have to be donated to the here. I can't not give away. These are against the law, man, for me to even sell. So. This one is a nice knife right here now, buddy. This is Shrade 60T. This is USA made here now. Love this right here. Yeah. This will be going into the, the auction. Sure will, buddy. Love this right here. Love that. Beautiful. I'll find a, a good sheath. I'm not saying this sheath ain't good for it, but I'm going to try to find a, a shred sheath for it before uh, May. So we're going to put this over here. Wow. That's pretty cool. The handles are bone. Again, I can't sell, can't put automatic knives in, in auction, but we thank you for this. Well, Mr. Charles, I appreciate these knives. I know these two would definitely be making it to the auction next month. I'll take a closer look at the other ones. I know I cannot um, put automatic knives in there. I'm not even legal to sell those knives. Uh, you, you can, I can add spring-assisted uh, opening uh, knives to the auction like a Kershaw blur or something like that but whereas, whereas you mash a button and they pop out I can't do that at all um, but these two would definitely be in there this is the 6OT right here the Shrade USA made I'm going to put a leather lanyard in there and I'm, I'm going to look for a sheath for it before next month and the Gerber here is a bear uh, it's a well made knife um, it's China made, but we're definitely going to be putting it in an auction. It's got a thumb stud here. The, the handles are rubber with that non-slip grip on there. It's got a, a little thumb grip back there. It's got a finger groove there. It's, it feels good in your hand. It really does. It has a lanyard hole back here. So again, Mr. Charles, I hope you understand, but buddy, but I will take a closer look at them, them, them others, but I know these two will definitely make the auction next month, and I appreciate this sticker here too, sir. Mr. Charles sent those knives all the way from Port Ritchie, Florida, 334 miles away from Ellerville, Georgia. Mr. Charles, appreciate those knives, buddy. I certainly appreciate your uh, donation to the next month's auction. God bless you. We're going to open up this package too, guys. It's all the way from uh, Cary, North Carolina. Dear Kevin, thank you for everything you do for the knife and EDC communities. Your videos have inspired me to get into more classic style pocket knives. I've been spending weekends and free time at flea markets looking for unique knives for my collection. I have a I have found a few that need your help. Also include a bear for you to add to your collection of bears. I am originally from Mississippi, so I'd rather not own anything from Alabama. <laughs> That's funny, man. Just kidding, all the best. Keep the content coming. Andy H. Cary, North Carolina. Well, Andy, I appreciate this, buddy. I appreciate it so much. I really do, man. And we're fixing to see. I appreciate that bear. Uh, and I appreciate uh, you uh, getting back into the uh, knife hunting because it is fun, and I'm sh and I'm sure you realize that it's so much fun. 
Let's see what Mr. Andy sent. Wow. Victorian Knox. I love Victorian Knox. Check that out. Yes, sir. I've got a, a handle we can put on here. It's got a flat tip screwdriver, bottle opener, wire skinner. It's got a yeah, that needs to be retouched up right there now. The can opener's fine. Looks like somebody broke the... There used to be a flat tip screwdriver right there, but it's a, the can opener's fine. We can uh, round that off and just make it a, a can opener. Let's see. This needs a spring. Then, then you got a, a fish scaler or descaler. A little ruler right there with a hook remover. Does it have a saw? It does have a saw. Check that out, y'all. This is a nice EDC knife to throw in your backpack. Then where well, you got your sewing all. Well, see, this is before the, they started putting the hole in there. That's just a regular punch blade there with a corkscrew. This, this is a pretty, pretty old knife. Very nice. I appreciate this, Andy. Let's see what this is. Look at that, y'all. That's pretty, in it? Bear, look at there. That is awesome, man. USA. Ain't that beautiful? Thank you so much, a Andy, for, for, for this knife. That's so awesome. Very cool. Beautiful. This thing, I'm on clean this one up man which is clean now but i'm gonna shine it up put it that way it's like a pine cone right there don't it awesome thank you for this man whoa two broken blades this was a camillus yes sir three lines got that old font too look at that bone y'all that is a beautiful knife Hear that snap? Good springs. That blade ain't hurt a bit now. Camillus Cutlery Company. We're going to have to find out what year that is. The year will be right here. Or the, the era will be right up in here somewhere of when this was made. But I love this bone. Look at that. A little chip right there, but ain't no problem. Man, that's a pretty knife. Man, if that blade wasn't broke right here, man, that would be a awesome see how that, that long nail pull right there i bet it went all the way down the blade mm, beautiful knife oh here we go okay very cool what kind is it japan Kala. i can't make it out yeah i don't know much about these man but thank you i appreciate that Really do. Whoa. Oh, look at the handles. Let's see. Camco. That was made by Camillus. Check that out, y'all. Just need some handles. That's going to be a fun project now. The blade ain't hurt a bit. We're going to try to save that shield, too, on there. It's gonna be fun. This project's gonna be fun. See, these handles are notorious about shrinking. I said old plastic, but it, I got the shield on this one. See how that one just comes off? It just breaks off. Mm hmm. Very cool. Thank you for this, man. Andy, thank you so much. And I absolutely love this bear right here. Bear and Sons out of Jacksonville, Alabama. Very cool. That's why you sent it to me, because it's from Alabama, ain't it? <laughs> uh, no, they make good knives up there. They really do. Awesome knives. I'm going to go to that, that factory here soon. Andy sent those knives all the way from Cary, North Carolina. 468 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Andy, appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it so much, man, for the knives. And I love that bear, buddy. God bless you. Okay, I'm going to hit these two knives with, with Never Dull real quick. We 
we fixing to put this in the display case. She ready to go in the case now. I mean, I've never seen one like it. This design here kind of reminds me of an old vintage Gerber. It really does. It's a great little EDC. But I'm not going to carry it. It's going to go in my collection. It's not going to be used. I have a bag. I'm going to be putting this in. It's going to have its own little slot that it slides in. That's beautiful. Beautiful knife. It's old too. Check that bad boy out. Ain't it beautiful? No need for flits. Awesome, ain't it? Love this knife. Love it. And this one here is fixing to go in the display case. Let's see what year this is. Hmm. See, I get so confused, guys. It don't have the lightning bolt S. I'm thinking it's a 2008, maybe? Yes, yeah, a 2008. I'm going to say it's a 2008. I'll let you know if I'm right, right here. So we're fixing to put this in the display case. As that knife goes right here, it's order number 161. I'll show you that in one second. I'll try to line these blades up how they go. Mm, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> you gotta be careful. They'll bite you. Oh, good. That looks good in there, don't it? Lazy book, there it is. Appreciate it, man. And see, that's order number 161, yellow composition three. Go up here, order 161. That's pattern 3254 CV steel back in the day. I think this is from the 90s, maybe early 2000s, this case was. That's uh, $44.99. Right there. It's going to be beautiful when it's done. Sure is. It's coming along really good, too. Awesome. Thank you again, man. Lazy Buck sent that knife all the way from Leesville, South Carolina. It's his third package. 235 miles away from Ellerville, Georgia. Lazy Buck, thank you, man, for all the support to the channel. I love the uh, trapper for my display case, buddy. Thank you so much. God bless you. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I just want to thank uh, Lazy Buck for sending me that trapper for my display case. I love it, buddy. That's your third package. Thank you so much, man. And I also want to thank Mr. Charles for sending me those knives. I know them two knives are going to be going into next month's auction. And I'll take a look at the other knives that you sent, buddy. But I appreciate them. I appreciate them all. Thank you so much. And I want to thank Andy for sending me those knives. And I absolutely love that knife. I really do. It's the Bear. Bear and Sons knife. Uh, I love it. I really do. And uh, but, but thank y'all so much for the gifts, the donations that y'all give. Uh, just want to thank everybody out there for what y'all do. For what y'all do for supporting the channel, all the views, all my subscribers. Thank y'all so much. And I just want to say, guys, uh, the next, if I don't open your package, if y'all sent me, because I have a lot of them. If, if, if y'all sent me a package and I don't get to it, your item will be in next month's auction, which we're going to be dedicating to to mothers. Uh, it's, it's a you are a gift uh, foundation. Y'all go check that out if you want to. I have more information on that after this auction. We're going to be uh, uh, in recognition of Mother's Day in May, uh, so that's what we're going to do. And like I said, I'll have more information on that charity we're going to be giving to in May uh, here real soon. Just a reminder the. This month, uh, Tunnels to Tower auction will be April 7th at 7 p.m. on on, uh, on whatnot. Uh, I'll have a link down in the description below. You can go click on that. 
it'll take you straight over there if you need to register to bid uh, you can you can can follow me over there as well uh, it's gonna be fun y'all we're gonna have a lot of good items I already have 11 items and I'm gonna be putting more up there this afternoon I'm gonna try to work it up to 30 items but it's a lot of work though uh, which I don't mind I'm not complaining I'm just saying if I don't get to your package right now when I open it it will be for next month's auction but it's I have to take pictures I have to write the description I have to upload it and and uh, attach it to the um, uh, the show so it's a it's a good bit of work but I don't mind it at all I'm not complaining I'm just letting you know if I don't get to your package with stuff for the tunnels of tower it, it would be donated to the charity for mothers so just letting y'all know but anyway guys thank y'all for tuning in today and I just want to say God bless y'all and until we meet again guys y'all be like a good life stay sharp